Russell is about the same muscular build, but he's just not quite as tall, tall as Joe Cruz. That leverage pl plays a lot of a lot. Uh, that long right? arm, boy, you get once you get those long arms and legs underneath someone, once they start pulling you over, you're going to go over anywhere that they want you to go. Like Baby Doll told you earlier this hour, we're going to be seeing gorgeous Jimmy Garvin in action in the next 60 minutes. Plus, the outlaw Deaton's, the mod squad, and a very special surprise yeah. appearance. Uh, From someone that we that haven't seen in a while either. He's kind of made really about the end here. It's like I did, did About the end No of telling life. who's going to show up at Lang. <laughs> oh, right? I imagine so. All right, back to the ring as Joe Cruz continues to work on the left arm of Tommy Angel. And, and in looking at Tommy Angel here on the monitor, from the look on his face anyway, it seems that Cruz is starting to get to that left arm yeah. a little bit. You have to work that leverage. Cruz, Cruz, although he doesn't have that much experience in the ring, is showing experience here by working on one part. A lot of guys get in the ring, they get confused. They work on an arm a little bit, work on the legs a little bit, go to a headlock, and they're just really confused. Cruz looks like he's at least got some maneuverability. He's got a game plan in here to beat Tommy Angel. It looks like he might do it. Now, fans, as we told you a little bit earlier in the hour, in the weeks to come, there's going to be a tournament. Ooh, got away. Let's see if he can do something. Put something together. There you he's go. right on the aggressive maneuvers like that. He's not standing back and waiting for Cruz to bring the match That's to him. That's it. You know, Joe Cruz made a crucial, crucial mistake there by not getting on his man. He was a little confused. He thought he could wear that, wear Tommy Angel down. But once Tommy got away from him, his game plan, it just seemed to fall apart. Now Tommy's got the upper hand. Angel had a little bit of a problem bringing out him out of the corner. Stopping him up. Reverse. Cruz with a shoulder tackle. From the Handy Corporation, Shape Up with Arnold Schwarzenegger, the ultimate full-length 90-minute physical fitness video. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the world's greatest bodybuilder, shows you how to correctly perform each exercise. This video is perfect for the beginner or advanced fitness person. Arnold Schwarzenegger shows you scores of ways to flatten, stretch, reduce, strengthen, firm up, and in general, to create a better overall healthy body. He also shows you how to work out in your home or office without weights. In addition, there are two special sections on weightlifting. One for advanced men and one for advanced women. Don't miss out on this personal physical fitness program. Have your credit card ready to order. Call 1-800-345-5577 or send check or money order for $24.95 plus $4 shipping and handling to Shape Up with Arnold Schwarzenegger, P.O. Box 6500, Department 20, Matthews, North Carolina, 28106. Order yours today. There's only one gene endorsed by the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. Wrangler. Cowboy cut jeans. Hello, California. Ted News. Professional or a weekend cowboy, Nelson Royal's official Wrangler PRCA Pro Rodeo dealer has the duds to fit you and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> Fans, as you can tell, there's a couple people in the audience having a nervous breakdown because gorgeous Jimmy it's Garvin. Gorgeous is Jimmy Garvin feels good. Jimmy! Working out and training and having a good time. And I know everybody's saying, it. said one of my buddies over there, he says, where's Squeezy at, man? I said, well, I left her home. I had to leave her home. I got, I got two beautiful little girls. And for the first time in about five or six years, mama gets time to spend some time at home. So I'm out here having fun. I'm getting ready to wrestle Nelson Royal Better next week it. right for the junior yeah. heavyweight title. Oh, that sounds like a great idea, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we're talking about a sudden death tag team tournament. Oh my gosh, it makes goosebumps go right up my back. But I gotta tell you, I won't be squeezeless for long. Man, gorgeous Jimmy's got a lot coming up for the next couple of weeks. Let's go to Baby Doll. 
This month, cable takes on the Oscars with a sparkling night of stars. The Ace Awards, live on TBS and Lifetime. Look at all the hoops and hustle on the college courts as top-ranked teams hit the hardwood on ESPN. And what turns a cop into a killer? Don't miss the world premiere movie, The China Lake Murders on USA. In 1990, look at all the things we are. Look, Carolina, look at all the things we are. Treasure Island. The gold belongs to the one smart enough to find it and strong enough to keep it. Charlton Heston. Them that dies will be the lucky one. Treasure Island, a TNT exclusive premiere, coming in January. Here's how to tell time using TNT. If you're taking an afternoon break with the greatest actors in Hollywood's history, you're lucky. <laughs> really. It's 4 o'clock Eastern and you're watching TNT's Hollywood Legends. Fill your afternoons with heroes, heroines, after-school Oscar winners. You touch that kid, I tear you apart. And classic pre-dinner plots. Ah, Hollywood Legends. Timeless movies, timeless stars. Same time every weekday at 4 p.m. Eastern on TNT. Elvis is back, back to back, in three one-hour specials on the Nashville Network. Go behind the scenes for a compelling, telling look at the King's personal, very private side. Don't miss Elvis, the echo will never die. The fans, a perspective, heart and soul, the untold story. Look at all that's Elvis. Can anybody get in the act? All of the regular customers. Look, Carolina, look at all the things we are. Welcome back to Atlantic Coast Wrestling. Rick Stewart along with Baby Doll. And I'll tell you, Doll, before we could even get back from the commercial break, we saw Ricky Nelson and Trent Knight start to go at each other inside the ring. Yeah, Trent Knight was getting over there in Ricky Nelson's territory, and Ricky Nelson wasn't about to let that happen, so they started the match, and we run the bell for them. That's Ricky in the black trunks, uh, the very surprised-looking Trent Knight, courtesy of a Ricky Nelson arm yeah. drag in the red. Two, again, of the up-and-coming stars. We saw gorgeous Jimmy Garvin, and yeah. uh, they well, don't make them ever. like that real often, you no. know what I mean? You kind of imagine with his squeezy gone, that he's, if he gets that wild with her gone, just how bad it is when he's away on the road for a week or so. Gorgeous uh -huh. Jimmy may be on the prowl this evening, but we won't tell, <laughs> like, we won't tell Squeezy. No, 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 no. Squeezy might catch the VCR later on this team. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ricky Nelson trying to fight his way up out of a Trent Knight side headlock. Now, what Jimmy was talking about in the single elimination tag team tournament, it's going to be taking place over the next three weeks, right here okay. on TV. You lose one match, you're out of the That's tournament. It. And what this is to decide is the seeding placements for the Atlantic Coast Tag Team Championship. Got a beautiful trophy that goes to the winner of the seed elimination. We'll bring that out a little bit later this hour. Plus a big hunk of cash and, of course, a shot to be in line for the Atlantic Coast Tag Team title. That's right. Once you get that title, as we all know, Baby Doll always had a man with the title around Better his waist. That those titles cost a lot of money. And if you've got the money, then you get to have those little extras in life that make it oh so nice. Disappeared. So did a couple of your wrestlers. Yeah, that's it. I mean, once they didn't fulfill what they had said that they wanted me to, then that was it. They were gone. Ricky Nelson really moving out strong against Ooh. Trent Knight. Big elbow. Yeah, yeah. Good keep on him. He's got to keep on him. Not take that time. He's got to keep his offensive going. A lot of the wrestling writers. He let say Trent Knight just get that little breath, and that was it. Trent took advantage of it. A lot of wrestling writers say that Ricky Nelson may be one of the great stars of the future. Certainly a guy to keep his eye on in the weeks and months to come here on Atlantic Coast Just wrestling. learn how to put those moves together, and he's going to be a nice-looking young man. And he'll win a title here at Bend if he just can put those moves together and think about what he's got to do. You find that's what short circuits a lot of wrestlers. They can put together one or two offensive moves. That's it. They can black out. What is it, concentration that they lose? It's or? just a lot of it is whether you can really think of him. To right off the bat, it takes those hours of practice and learning. And once you get some kind of headlock like Ricky Nelson just did, why not just go ahead and take it over and then use your body weight against him? But he's just going to use his upper body strength. Take the guy on over and let your body weight rest on him, and then you've got that much more strength against him because he can't burn you.
first ten lock. Now the, the little things you're talking about that yeah. make the difference between an up and that's coming it. star and an established star. Hook in the leg, following that's it. up on your maneuvers. Trent should be a little bit more sitting on Ricky Nelson so that he can't breathe. He's letting Ricky move around. Ricky can breathe. If Trent, even though he's not that heavy a wrestler, if he uses his body weight and pushes against him, Ricky's not going to be able to breathe. If you can't breathe, your muscles aren't able to replenish themselves, and you weaken, and you weaken really quick that way. I've, I've heard a lot of wrestling commentators talk about oxygen depletion. Oh, Basically, yeah. what happens is the guy gets hammered on so much, he can't breathe, and That's if right. he can't breathe, he can't wrestle. That's it, and especially like in the gym and everything, everybody says, breathe, breathe, breathe while you're doing your sets. That's why, because your oxygen, that's what your body runs on. If you're not breathing, then your body isn't able to replenish itself. Hang on, look at this. Some kind of a version of a suplex I haven't seen oh, in a train like that. right on that map. It looks like it's done the job on the He's going for a little bit fast to go. Man. Good drop kick. He good. got him. Square and chest. Good Woo! Yeah. You can tell that's one exciting young man. Rick good Nelson. Important. He racks up another one on Atlantic Coast Wrestle. Let's take a look at that again if we can. Oh, yeah, look at this drop kick. Right square in the chest. That's 220 pounds coming off the top rope. A big win for Ricky Nelson. More great ACW wrestling coming up. Don't let this happen to you. Handy Corporation proudly presents Spike, the amazing stay-in-place pet dish. The only pet dish endorsed by the New York Kennel Club. Easy to clean and replace. Spike's multi-headed suction cups stick firmly to any kitchen floor. This will never happen with Spike. Holds 32 ounces on each side. In fact, Spike stays anywhere. Rascal, come to eat. This non-toxic, durable, virtually indestructible dish is the safest dish for your pets. It's the best stay-in-place pet dish on the American market today. It's even child-proof. Never again worry about your pet's food spilling while you're gone. Spike offers a 1-800-Hotline for your convenience. This amazing dish won the prestigious International Hall of Fame New Product Award for 1989. Available only through this TV offer. Call 1-800-345-5577 or send check or money order for $12.95 plus $2 shipping and handling to Spike. P.O. Box 6500, Department 20, Matthews, North Carolina, 28106. Fans are with the world's junior heavyweight champion, Nelson Royal, and the, the slightly bizarre L.A. Stevens. Sir, I want to talk to you about two things. One, the tag team tournament, the single elimination seed tournament for the tag team titles, and your match one week from today right here on TV with gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. All right, first things first, let's look at the tag team tournament. I got L.A. Stevens, one of the greatest young wrestlers coming today, because I know I trained him. And this is a man that you have to reckon with in any ring you get in. Now getting to Jimmy Garvin. Jimmy Garvin's been running around, I don't know where, but apparently he lost Precious or he's got her out someplace cutting grass or working in a garden. And I've got beauty here with me. When you bring Sha Sha, you bring the world's belt. Jimmy Garvin, I know that you want the belt. You would like to have beauty like this, but you can't get it with what you've got. So what you do, you leave Precious at home, and if you want to wrestle Nelson Royal, you come, you find him, and then that's when we get into the wrestling, because I'm one thing. I am a world's champion, and you're nothing.
Business News, FNN is there. We provide the most comprehensive business and financial coverage on television. From the overnight activity of the international markets to the closing bell on Wall Street, we analyze the trends and show you how they can impact your life. We also show you how today's headlines could affect tomorrow's economy. For up-to-the-minute news coverage, welcome to the Financial News Network. Make the most of your money with FNN. Hollywood's got its Oscars, TV its Emmys. This week, look at all the stars we are as cable salutes its best. The Ace Awards, live on CBS and Lifetime. College basketball heats up as top teams clash in three doubleheaders and two tripleheaders on ESPN. And look at all the laughs as lovable, huggable Louie Anderson stars in an all-new HBO comedy hour. Look, Carolina, look at all the things we are. Our next event on Atlantic Coast Wrestling Tag Team Action with, uh, with kind of, got to be kind of a twist, baby doll. In one corner, we've got L.A. Stevens and the man you see on the left of your screen, the world's junior champion, Nelson Royal. Right. In the other corner, pretty boy Doug Summers, one of the masters of tag team wrestling, and Colt Steele, who up until one week today had been uh, bosom buddies with Nelson Royal. As a matter of fact, he was instrumental in, the, at least in my opinion, keeping uh, a certain young gentleman who shall remain nameless from actually becoming the world's junior heavyweight champion. It'll be interesting to see when these two get in the ring, or if they get in the ring with each other, just exactly what goes on. It's going to be interesting, too, because then you also have Shasha in the corner, too, which looks like she's going to take after maybe my standards after a while, because Nelson isn't really well liked, is he? She seems to go along with that same flavor of wrestling. I, I think she shares, number one, your appreciation of the finer things. Right? Yes, yes. And of course, uh, she does have some nice clothes, she takes very good care of her looks and everything else. Winners make the cash, and apparently she's associated herself with, well, nine years World Junior Heavyweight Champion, oh, Nelson yeah. Royal. Yeah, nine years in a row of those World Championship She's starting paychecks. out on the right foot, too, getting herself a champion right off the bat, because she's got the good idea. You don't want to start out with a young up-and-coming wrestler, because he's not going to make the dollars that the champion is. And he's doing it right. Good backdrop by L.A. But see, didn't hook that leg. A little leg experience showed there, and Doug Summers comes up, builds him one right in the stomach. Comes up off his knees, fighting, which I think makes Doug Summers one of the better tag team wrestlers in the world. On six or seven different occasions, he's held national and world tag Ooh. team titles. Colt came charging in. He grazed L.A. Stevens, but it really didn't seem to have any effect. No, and then they're right there in Nelson's corner. Now they're going to show him how to double team. Really, uh, in, the, in the couple of years that I've known you, Baby Doll, I've always considered the tag team wrestling as your specialty. Yeah. Uh, teams seem to really be the thing that you brought, brought out the best in and still do. This uh, has got to be potentially one of the strangest matches I've ever seen. Nelson Royal and L.A. Stevens aren't exactly the most popular guys in the world. And no. certainly Doug but. Summers and Colt Steele don't get truckloads of fan mail. No, no, they don't get drinks bought for them at the bar any no. time at all, do they? They kind of get the leery-eyed look. But then you also have to look at the tag teams, too. you got uh, Nelson Royal with all of his experience, and, and he's been a champion before, and he knows what it's like to make the money. Well, on the other hand, you've got L.A. Stevens, who's very inexperienced. He's very, as you could say, like a greenhorn. He's like a cowboy that really doesn't have the experience. He see Colt Steele had him tied up in the ropes. Ellie didn't know what he was going to do, so Nelson took care of it. He both had one Colt Steele right in the stump. Now, all this is going to take is one mistake, because this is the beginning Ooh, of the single right. seed elimination. Once a team loses, they are eliminated from the seeding process. Hang on, the referee is down. I was about to say, I would not like to be a referee in that situation, because what can you do? What can you do? You know, it's just to get on the ground a little bit. Let's see how much you can take. Oh, that's He's it. He's called for the bell. The referee Ooh. being brutalized oh, right. by all oh. four, man. We've got complete chaos in the ring as Stevens and Summers slug it out. Colt Steele is there. Ooh, right on his head. They just got L.A. Stevens right on his head. Oh, man, I cannot believe it. But there they are. Let's see what the referee's going to do. It's at this point, we don't know which side that the referee's going to go on. It's either Cole Steele or Doug Summers, or L.A. Stevens or Nelson Royal. Both of them push the referees around. The referee may just throw this whole thing out. We'll just have to wait and see. That's it. I think it's just double disqualified everybody. 
I feel really sorry for that referee because, I mean, he lost total control of the situation. Fans, earlier this hour, we promised you a very special surprise. There's been a man who played a major role in professional wrestling in the last two years, major, who's kind of disappeared in the last couple of months, and we are fortunate enough here at Atlantic Coast Wrestling to have his first appearance in over six months by means of videotape. That's right, and none other than Nikita Koloff is making a special appearance right here in Atlantic Coast Wrestling. And if you would, maybe take a look at this tape and see how much heartfelt emotion is in this man now, because Nikita, we've all known has been at the top he's been a lot of heartfelt situations with a couple of close friends of mine and nikita's got a lot to say in this videotape rick fine let's take a look and hear the words of the former u.s champion nikita kola many people have asked me nikita how come i don't see you on tv no more how come you know wrestling are you still wrestling well two very tragic things have happened in my life the last two years First, I come back from Japan about two years ago to find out that Magnum T.I. almost lost his life in a car accident. This made a big difference, as many of you know, in my life. It made very many changes for Nikita Kolov. I can't help but think that there's a man with a lot on his mind and a lot on his heart. Nikita That's right. You know, once you set your goals in something for life and realize what you're really in life for, there should be nothing stopping Nikita Koloff. Now, we've seen him strong before. It's going to be amazing to see how strong he's going to get now. Be looking forward to seeing him all around the Atlantic Coast area. In That's the right. ring right now, Gene Ligon on the apron, George South in the red trunks against the infamous Mod Squad. Yeah, we've known Mod Squad from a couple of years back. Though. I'll tell you yeah. what, these two are potentially, to me, one of the most dangerous tag team combinations in wrestling for just this reason alone, baby doll. They don't care. They don't care. They get hurt, they don't care what they have to do, and they don't care who they have to do it to. That's right. Good, strong powerhouse team. It's amazing because, see, I looked at these guys, too, at one time when I was during my managing career because look at these guys. Look at the big, solid chest that they've got on it. These guys bench press over 500 pounds apiece, plus they've got speed and quickness. The only thing that I can really see is they lack a lot of height compared to a lot of other wrestlers, but what they don't have in height, they've got that upper body strength. Even though they've got the dark tights on, they've got a lot of strength in their legs, too. they got tempers like a couple of snakes, too. The tag to Gene Ligon, an outstanding wrestler throughout high school and college, and if there's a That's guy right. who really has got a good grasp of what's going on, Matt-wise, amateur or professional, it's got to be Gene Ligon. Yes, he's got a good overall body strength. He's not really excessive in anything, but he's got just a good overall athletic body, which will carry him through any sport. Uh, I found in talking to some of the wrestlers in the dressing room that uh, it's not all the muscles that'll get you sometimes. There's a tremendous amount of tendon strength, and inner tenacity, and backdropping ability that will do it from time to time. Can you imagine coming like, what, six, seven feet right in the middle of your back? That, oh, that it's wouldn't well, be something I'd look forward to. Flapping yeah. my lips. <laughs> That's why I stood outside and clapped a lot and told them what to do, too. I just couldn't do that, no. Fans, don't forget, one week from today on Atlantic Coast Wrestling, you will see a World's Junior Heavyweight title match as gorgeous Jimmy Garvin goes for the beautiful championship belt of Nelson Royal. He'll have Shasha in his Carrying corner. it to the ring, won't she? <laughs> Plus, this time, live and in action, rock and roll, Robert Gibson. That's all next week. Plus, these single elimination tag team matches will continue, so it's uh, it's bubbling like it's going to be an exciting week. Oh, yeah, it should be, and especially with this tournament. Do or die situation. Once you're pinned once, that's it. You're history. You're out of it. 
it's not a you it's know well put a lot of pressure on you baby oh a lot of extra god pressure. you can't make any mistakes i mean it's not like a two out of three fall match or you've got a second chance oh the let me give you, let me give you a arm. hypothetical situation uh, as all those happened a couple of years ago let's say just for the sake of talking with the mod squad are in your stable what do you tell them before they go out to make sure that they no don't mistakes lose? no mistakes think about every detail that you've got to make right now George South and Gene Ligon are working on one body part. They're working on the arm, and when you're pounding your knees into the elbow, every time you do that, it, it hurts and it weakens you, and you've got to think, well, maybe that tournament's not worth it. That's why I was out of the side of the ring, because maybe when they looked at me, they realized that it really was worth it, and they gave it that little gumption to keep going. I've always been impressed with George South. To me, he's a clutch wrestler. Bad situations seem to bring out the best in George yes. South. The pressure's on, or he's against a guy that's a lot bigger. Oh! oh. Down he went. They must have talked about that move before because George South has got that big head of hair. Catch him coming right off the ropes. Head well, right in the mat. You're not going to go anywhere. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't said anything now because it could have jinxed poor George. There yeah. The ring. Uh, if I've ever seen him. Oh. oh inverted. Japanese move there. Oh, big move. Inverted pile driver. South got his shoulders off the mat. I could name you 60 wrestlers that would have never got. Never, 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 never. Big clothesline. George has got to be out of it. George has got to be thinking whether it's really worth it or not. If he's any thinking at all, he may be just butterflies in his head now and a little shooting stars. Well, after you go face first with the mod squad on top oh. of your head, it's got to be tough to And they're get trading your in and out. George South has been in there a long time now. Mod squad, Spike and Basher are trading in and out. In fact, they were real smart there because Gene Legan was about to drop the elbow. So out of the corner of the eye, got up. Got to be an advantage for the Mod Squad just for one reason. They've been together for so long. They've been tag team champions all over the country. Uh, they're used to each other's style. We're South and Ligon have tagged a couple of times. Individually, they're great wrestlers. But the Mod Squad's job is to operate as a team. That's right. And they're doing a good job here because they have just dominated this tag team. And really showing, I think, George South and Gene Ligon what it's like to be a tag team and that maybe they need a little more experience working together. Fans, all through the next couple of weeks, you're going to be seeing more of these great single elimination tag team matches. South! Oh, it's an upset. Baby. Maybe an upset. Oh, it just couldn't get it. As we said, the gravity before. If you just don't get that gravity going... Just Pres didn't get him pulled over. Presence of mind's got to pay a lot, too. And again, like you pointed out earlier in this uh, hour of Atlantic Coast Wrestling, as the experience comes and you become a veteran in the sport, you learn to keep your wits about you. And, uh, turn a One thing situation. leads to another, and then you can put the matches together, you put your moves together, and you're not just standing there leaving yourself open. You know what you're going to do next. Because when you stand and leave yourself open, that the other opponent takes his way over. Gene Ligg is trying to get this crowd going, trying to let George know that he's still behind him, that he wants to win that match. Once you get the people going and let them know that not only are all the fans behind you, but your partner's still behind you, and they haven't given up. George came right up, and he's got a lot of faith in him. His heart rate's getting up. Let me ask you now, you've been on both sides of the fence. You've been popular and not so popular. Does it really make a difference? Oh, the people make a 100% difference, especially if, if you're, the people are with you and behind you, and they let you know that they're behind you. If you're working on those people, God, it's great when you can get them behind you and you know that you can win. When you get those people behind you, it's like an extra burst of energy. It's like a B12 shot. You know, you it's get a like, mod oh. squad boot or a mod squad arm behind you like that. So, uh, it's it's kind of hard. A, it takes a lot of people then. <laughs> it's got to be a unique situation. Oh, and he's got his finger right in his eye. Oh, I feel so sorry for George. It's got to hurt, you and know? The, the rumor continues to go about the way these guys left New Orleans or the Badlands, oh. as they like to call it. Uh, We've been to New Orleans, and it's not a nice place. No, and uh, to keep law and order, <coughs> like the Mod oh. Squad supposedly did. They were a little rough, I suppose, in some of those terms. <laughs> Ran out of town. That'll do it. Tag to Gene Liggett, and he's been seeing his partner go through a lot. He couldn't take it, but maybe just a bit too eager a to get in the ring. Oh. Yes. Oh, double back jump. No. Referee's not allowing it. Too much double teaming. They've only got a count of four. Up on the top rope. What's this? Body slam setting them up. Getting that right position. Oh, elbow right across the chest. Hook the leg.
way down for the count, hooks the leg. Gene Ligon is definitely not getting up. That's a one, two, three for the Mod Squad. We'll be back with more. Fans, the single elimination tournament continues, but a lot of names come the Mod Squad's way. Rock and roll, the Deetons, many of the greatest teams in wrestling looking for you. Rick Stewart, let me tell all these stupid rednecks right here, right now, to shut your mouths. We're the best tag team in professional wrestling. We advanced to round number two in this tournament, don't we? I can guarantee we're gonna win it, Rick Stewart. We're so bad, we're gonna pick our own opponents. We get to pick who we want. What are, what are you talking about? You're going to hand pick your opponent? I hand pick and do everything that I want. Spike does too. You don't ever forget it either. You know that. Rick Stewart, there's a so called tag team called the Ring Lords. They want to make a name for themselves. If they're not scared to get in the square circle with the Mod Squad, tell them to put their name on the dining room. Tell him, Rick Stewart. I don't want to disagree with you, sir, and I don't mean you any disrespect, but Ring Lords does not sound like what I heard these people cheering just a couple of seconds ago. Sounded a little bit more like rock and roll to me. Rick Stewart, you cannot listen to what these rednecks say. If they had any sense, they'd be saying, my squad, my squad. But it's nothing but a bunch of little bitty teeny bumpers, little bitty wet in your pants behind the ears of the folks. Yelling for the Rock and Roll Express. We're not on for the Rock and Roll Express. Where's the Rock and Roll? Where's the Rock and Roll Express, huh? Let's see if you can get out of here now. It don't matter who it is, Rock and Roll, get out of here. It don't care. Get out of here, get the ring with us now. Let me just let me just clarify this. Starting now for the rest of this tournament. You're going to sit back in the dressing room and you're going to pick who you're going to wrestle? That's right, Rick Stewart, because for most of those that we're the best tag team in professional wrestling today, we have our say whatever we want. We rule professional wrestling, so we're going to pick who we want to beat up on. Why don't you just let the fans here at ringside pick who your opponent's going to pick? You already said they pick. You don't see no Rock and Roll Express out here, do you? Do you see... Ricky Martin and Robert Gibson anywhere out I'm sure it could be arranged real quick. We don't want to. We'll save those chunks for last. We want the ring lords. Fans, a shower of debris coming down on us from the fans. That's because there's redneck fans out here. You're listening, of course, to the words of the Mod Squad. One week from today, Baby Doll and I will be back. More Atlantic Coast Wrestling. More for the squad. Now that old man winter has rolled into town, what's the best weather protection around? Tune in to the Weather Channel day and night. They'll keep the latest forecast in sight. A dip in the mercury can bring on a freeze and leave you with shivering, knocking knees. So bundle up and be on your way. But first, check all the weather we are today. Look, Carolina, look at all the things we are. If it happened in the USA, the Middle East, Japan, the Soviet Union, if it happened in World Trade, South Africa, China, Angola, on Wall Street, the Persian Gulf, if it happened today. Good evening, I'm Marvin Scott, and this is USA Tonight. It's on USA Tonight. You're watching Cablevision's Best, TV 15, Charlotte.
Hi, I'm Dave Otto, and welcome to the January edition of Cable Previews. During the next 30 minutes, we'll preview some of the excellent films and original programs you can see on premium cable channels during January. We'll also play some movie trivia. Premium cable TV has never been better, and there's a great year of programs in store for you. So, let's get started. In January... right after this. Don't let this happen to you. Handy Corporation proudly presents Spike, the amazing stay-in-place pet dish. The only pet dish endorsed by the New York Kennel Club. Easy to clean and replace. Spike's multi-headed suction cup stick firmly to any kitchen floor. This will never happen with Spike. Holds 32 ounces on each side. In fact, Spike stays anywhere. Rascal, time to eat. This non-toxic, durable, virtually indestructible dish is the safest dish for your pets. It's the best stay-in-place pet dish in the American market today. It's even child-proof. Never again worry about your pet's food spilling while you're gone. Spike offers a 1-800 hotline for your convenience. This amazing dish won the prestigious International Hall of Fame New Product Award for 1989. Available only through this TV offer. Call 1-800-345-5577 or send check or money order for $12.95 plus $2 shipping and handling to Spike. P.O. Box 6500, Department 20, Matthews, North Carolina, 28106. Elvis is back. Back. Stand by, please. Stand by, please.